Good morning. Welcome to the Cathedral of St. Mary. Today we celebrate Easter Sunday of the Resurrection. Today's Mass will be celebrated by Archbishop Thomas Wenske. We are in a sacred place about to enter into the sacred mysteries of our faith. Please, let us prepare ourselves to enter into divine grace by quieting ourselves for the celebration. I am risen and I am always with you. Alleluia. You have placed your hand upon me. Alleluia. Your wisdom has been shown to be most wonderful. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. I welcome all who are following this Mass from their homes or elsewhere. We are broadcasting from St. Mary's Cathedral, the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of Miami. As we prepare to celebrate the mysteries of our faith, we pause to call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his healing forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my, through my fault, fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, most, my grievous most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for, to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Christe eleison Christe on 
upon us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lectura del Libro de los Hechos de los Apóstoles En aquellos días, Pedro tomó la palabra y dijo, ya saben ustedes lo sucedido en toda Judea, que tuvo principio en Galilea, después del bautismo predicado por Juan. Como Dios ungió con el poder del Espíritu Santo a Jesús de Nazaret, y como éste pasó haciendo el bien, sanando a todos los oprimidos por el diablo, porque Dios estaba con él. Nosotros somos testigos de cuanto él hizo en Judea y en Jerusalén, lo mataron, colgándolo de la cruz. Pero Dios lo resucitó al tercer día y concedió verlo, no a todo el pueblo, sino únicamente a los testigos que él, de antemano, había escogido, a nosotros, que hemos comido y bebido con él después de que resucitó de entre los muertos. Él nos mandó predicar al pueblo y dar testimonio de que Dios lo ha constituido juez de vivos y muertos. El testimonio de los profetas es unánime, que cuantos creen en él reciben, por su medio, el perdón de los pecados. Verbum Domini, Deo Gracia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. 
The hand of the Lord has struck with power God's right and is exalted. I shall not die but live anew, declaring the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord of love and mercy has brought wonder to our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Na kute parole bon Dieu nan let Paul pou moun Colossien yo. Kon sa si nous lever bien vivant ensemble à Christ là, chercher bagaille qui en haut côté Christ la chita à droite bon Dieu. Mettez l'idée nous yo sous bagaille qui en haut yo. C'est pas sous ça qui sous terre. Réellement vrai, nous mouri et puis la vie nous cacher ensemble à Christ là dans bon Dieu. Les Christ là qui la vie nous va paraître le ça nous même tout n'apparaît en saint macli dans gloire Victime Pascali laudes immolent Christiani Agnus redemit obes, Christus innocens patri, reconciliavit peccatores. Mors et vita duelo, conflixere mirando, dux vite mortus regnat vivus. Dignobis Maria, qui vidis in via, sepulcrum Christi viventis, et gloriam vidi resurgentis, angelicos testes sudarium et bestes, Surrexit Christus pes mea, precedet suos in Galilea. Shimus Christum surrexise, amor tu is vere, tu nobis victor rex miserere. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Paschal Lamb has been sacrificed. Let us feast with joy in the Lord. 
Aleluia, Aleluia, Aleluia. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Easter Sunday finds us in a time of twin crises. We are facing the worst global public health crisis in our lifetimes and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Yet around the world, we are united in common purpose of caring for the sick pursuing a cure and lifting the human spirit. As Christians still living in the world, we will experience all manner of trials and tribulations. The sufferings of Christ do not exempt us from suffering ourselves, but his sufferings seen in the light of his resurrection give meaning and hope to our own. And so even suffering does not take away the joy and the future promise of our own resurrection. We are Easter people and Alleluia is our song. Thus preached St. Augustine of Hippo in the uncertain times in which he lived in fourth century North Africa. He added, let us sing here and now in this life, even though we are oppressed by various worries, so that we may sing it one day in the world to come when we are set free from all anxiety. Christ is risen, and his resurrection from the dead cast a decisive light on all that preceded it. Now in the light of the resurrection, Jesus' words and the words of the prophets who preceded him are understood with new clarity. 
the cross, once rightly regarded as an instrument of cruel torture and shame, is now revealed as the tree of life. From now on, we understand that embracing, in embracing the cross, we are not robbed of life, but instead we find true life. Life is redeemed for all its sorrows, its pains and disappointments. Life has meaning. For Easter convinces us not only that Jesus Christ is risen, but that we too would rise as well. Our Christian faith is not born so much from the acceptance of a doctrine, but from an encounter with a person, with Christ, once dead, but now risen. Christ who encountered the women who came to the tomb is the same Christ who encounters us today in his word and sacrament. And this is why the faithful yearn for that day. And please God, it will be soon when we can return to our churches and in obedience to Jesus' command, do this in remembrance of me, we can worship and share in the communion of his body and blood. Jesus is not just a character from a far distant past. He is not remembered in the same way as the great men and heroes who lived long ago are remembered. We might talk about them and about their deeds, but we cannot talk to them or befriend them. Jesus, however, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He lives. Having broken the chains of death, he walks before us as one who is alive. And he calls us to follow him, the living one, and to enter a relationship of friendship with him. In this way, we discover the path of life, a life that is always new because it will never die. Christ in rising from the dead saves all that is truly human and by the gift of his spirit makes it possible for us to live no longer for ourselves, but for him. We're Catholics. Easter is our return every year to our own baptism, our own passage or Passover or Pasha into new life in Christ. Lent was a call to renewed conversion of mind and heart, a turning back to the Lord, because even though we are baptized, what we constantly lose and betray is precisely that which we received in baptism. And so at Easter, we are reminded that we were created for life, eternal life life that transcends the boundaries of this world and overcomes even the limitation of death. Our baptism stands as a radical witness today in a world that denies that man was created for anything else but to die one day. Faith in Jesus' passion, death and resurrection gives us the inner strength to exercise our baptismal commitment to live in different ways, lives of service and significance. And so we will shortly renew the promises of our baptism. For in the gift of Easter lies the demands of Easter. If you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, St. Paul tells us. Jesus' whole life was shaped by his obedience to his Father. For us to live in Christ means that we will never allow the things of this world to distract us from the true purpose and goal of our existence. We must seek to do God's will in all things, even in the seemingly most mundane things. But doing God's will and following his commandments does not deprive us of joy but it is what makes true joy possible. Indeed, 
Joy is the sign that we have been with the Lord. And this joy comes by not only following God's law, but also from knowing God and His Son, Jesus Christ. It comes from experiencing His mercy and grace and sharing in His divine life. Our witness will be that much more credible if it is joyful. Our joy allows God to smile through us. And thus, even in this time of a health and economic crisis, to bring renewed hope to the world. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad, for we are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. And so, brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, let us present our petitions before the Lord, praying that the Lord in His mercy will grant us what we need to enter into the new life of grace that the resurrection of His Son promises each of us. Our response is, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Wenski, and all bishops, that they will proclaim the Easter message with strength and conviction, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Por los líderes de todas las naciones, para que con la gracia de Jesús resucitado trabajen para que la paz y la armonía puedan florecer y crecer entre los hombres. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the end of coronavirus and for those affected, for all the health personnel who are working with the pandemic patients, and for those who every day go to work in, in essential places, so that the Lord may preserve their good health, so that they may continue serving before these circumstances. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Por todos nuestros familiares, amigos, parroquianos, especialmente por los que han muerto por el virus, para que, para que conozcan la gloria de la resurrección, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you through Christ our Lord. As we come to the moment of the offertory collection, please consider the gift that you will send. Does the money you will send represent a true sacrifice? You are encouraged to give online through our St. Mary's Cathedral website or on the mobile app. You may also mail your gift in. Please be generous. Este es el día que hizo el Señor, cantemos todos con santo fervor. Cielos y tierra muy juntos están, porque el Señor ha venido aquí. Cantan las flores, se alegran los campos, bosques y prados alaban a Dios. Así nosotros cantamos alegres en este día que hizo el Señor. Que sea bendito, bendito sea aquel, aquel que viene en el nombre de Dios. Que las guitarras resuenen por él y cada nota sea un canto de amor. Cantan los flores, se alegran los campos, bosques y prados alaban a Dios. Así nosotros cantamos alegres en este día que hizo el Señor. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, Oh. 
Most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and with me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clemens, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Gersagonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you and also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Mm -hmm. 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, with Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on us, on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. A la chance pour mon saio. Jésus invité, vin manger, manger sa. Mais Jésus mon ton bon Dieu qui wete péché sous terre. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof. But only, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul, and my shall, soul be shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The body and blood of Christ. Mon qui mange moi n'y a pas de manco. Tout mon qui boit moi n'y a pas soif moi n'anco. Vini joue moi nous tout qui en vie moi. Fon rempli nous à qui moi donne. Qui mange moi n'y a pas de vie manco. Tout le monde qui boit moi n'y a pas soif moi n'anco. Sac songe moi la prangou si ou miel. Sam la gaio abjoin gato miel. Mon qui mange 
Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Alleluia! Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia! Alleluia! Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Alleluia! Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I called to the Lord in my distress. He has answered and freed me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The nations all encircled me in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They encircled me all around. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I shall not die, I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray. 
Look upon your church, O Lord, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. A happy Easter to all of you, and let us remain united in our resolve to get to the other side of the crises that uh, preoccupy us now, but let us go forth with the joy of the risen Lord who comforts us and gives us renewed hope. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God, alleluia. Star. 